Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Elbit Systems Limited, a prominent defense technology company, recently announced a milestone achievement in its collaboration with the Israeli Ministry of Defense, IMOD. The company revealed that it had successfully secured a series of contracts valued at approximately $760 million for the supply of ammunition to the IMOD. These contracts, slated to be executed over a two-year period, mark a significant expansion of Elbit Systems' involvement with the IMOD, particularly in the wake of the Swords of Iron conflict. The announcement, which follows the release of the company's annual report for the year ending December 31, 2023, underscores the heightened demand for Elbit Systems products and solutions by the IMOD since the onset of the conflict. This surge in demand reflects the pivotal role played by Elbit Systems in meeting the evolving needs of the Israeli defense establishment during times of heightened security concerns. Elbit Systems has long been a stalwart supplier of cutting-edge defense technologies to the Israeli army, furnishing an array of essential equipment integral to safeguarding national security interests. Among its flagship offerings are drone systems and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, like the Hermes 450 and Skylark. These sophisticated platforms serve critical functions in surveillance, reconnaissance, and intelligence gathering operations, equipped with state-of-the-art imaging and communication capabilities optimized for both daytime and nocturnal missions. In addition to UAVs, Elbit Systems specializes in electronic warfare and cyber defense systems crucial for fortifying the resilience of military infrastructure against digital threats. Products such as the C4I protection system play a pivotal role in detecting, identifying, and neutralizing cyber attacks and electronic intrusions, ensuring the integrity and confidentiality of sensitive communications and networks. Moreover, the company's portfolio encompasses a diverse range of night vision and thermal imaging systems tailored to augmenting soldiers' situational awareness and combat effectiveness in low-light environments. For instance, the XACT-TH-64 night vision system empowers troops with enhanced visibility in complete darkness, enhancing operational efficiency and safety during nocturnal maneuvers. Elbit Systems' contributions extend to the realm of armored vehicle modernization, exemplified by the deployment of active protection systems like the Trophy System. Leveraging advanced radar and sensor technologies, the Trophy System offers real-time threat detection and interception capabilities, bolstering the survivability of armored vehicles against rocket and missile threats on the battlefield. Furthermore, the company's avionics systems, integrated into fighter jets such as the F-16, play a pivotal role in optimizing aerial mission performance through enhanced navigation, communication, and weapons management functionalities. In the domain of air defense, Elbit Systems' Red Sky System stands as a bulwark against low-altitude aerial threats, employing cutting-edge sensors and weapon systems to detect, track, and neutralize drones and other airborne hazards, thereby enhancing overall airspace security. Lastly, the Spear II Malawian Quachas, a vehicle-mounted mortar system, embodies Elbit Systems' commitment to delivering agile and effective firepower solutions to ground forces. Designed for rapid deployment and operation across diverse terrains, the Spear II Malawian Quachas enhances artillery support capabilities, affording military units tactical flexibility and operational versatility. In conclusion, Elbit Systems' latest contract wins underscore its indispensable role as a provider of advanced defense solutions to the Israeli Ministry of Defense. With a diverse portfolio of innovative technologies spanning aerial, ground, and cyber domains, the company remains at the forefront of empowering the Israeli armed forces with the capabilities needed to safeguard national security interests effectively. That's all for now. See you later.